Welcome, Gemini. Welcome to In Spiritual Tro. I appreciate your patience. I've been trying to keep my mind occupied. Um, you know, we just went through some trauma, um, a loss, and I've just been trying to keep myself occupied. And then I have down periods where I'm just like staying in my room and watching, binge watching a lot of ghost adventures. <laughs> um, you know, so it's just something that I need to do right now. And also going out and uh, reminiscing and things like that. But anyway, I'm going to wrap these up and get Gemini's and Cancer's done. Um, again, I appreciate your patience and your support. So what I'm doing is with the Lionsgate uh, portal on the 8th, as well as the new moon in Leo on the 8th, which is a lot of strong energy, I was um, guided to do some spirit messages for each sign. I don't know what's going to come out. It could be just healing, guidance, something for you to be aware of to acknowledge something like that so we're just going to go ahead and get two rounds got a bunch of cards here um got my sage got my crystals from sedona got my little crystal ball so all right spirit so for the sign of gemini sun moon rising venus which messages do you want to bring out do you want to bring some healing guidance just acknowledgement what do you want to bring out so we're just going to get this energy going all right, so let's go ahead and start with these wild unknown um, archetypes. We're going to get two rounds, like I said, and we're just going to see what spirit wants to bring out for Gemini. Okay, I'm being called to this card for some reason. No, this one. This one. Okay. So we have the Maiden. So let's see what this energy is about, the Maiden. What number is this? This is number eight. So the maiden, I think it's like a trifecta of cards here. Um, forget which ones are in it. I know that, uh, which is weird because um, Virgo is also ruled by Mercury and is all about that mental energy, thinking a lot, you know, things like that. And they got one of the trifecta cards of the maiden too, which is interesting. So let's go ahead and see what's coming up for you. All right, so this maiden card, Gemini, is the Virgin, the Princess, and Innocent. Actually, uh, Virgo got this one as well because I remember the Virgin, and Virgos are, you know, Virgo the Virgins. So, so this is the vir Virgin, the Princess, and the Innocent. The maiden archetype is the epitome of innocent arousal, na naive sensuality, and precautious purity. She is compelling and addictive because of her flawless and youthful glow. She's the first archetype in the trifecta of maiden, mother, and crone, and rightfully so, because she has oh so much to learn. The maiden is perfectly poised, positioned for trouble to come her way and sub subject herself to challenge that leads to the next phase of womanhood. She must grow up, yet hesitates at that threshold enamored by the charms of youth. The maiden represents the side of us that is riveted and curious, drawn to shadowy forests, dark nights, and taking just one more taste of that poisonous fruit. Her magic is edgy and includes some sh both shame and delight. Let yourself fall down the rabbit hole, young one. So, moving from the maiden to the mother is challenging, often leaving unresolved tensions between the two archetypes for years, if not a lifetime. Do you long to be rescued by another or receive a kiss that brings you back to life? Be wary of waiting for a prince. Break the spell of your own life. So when it's light, it's curious, enchanting, and sensual, full of vitality. When dark, it pretends, projects, denies, and fantasizes, and go deeper with Pers Persephone, Alice, of any princess figures. So what I'm getting from this, the energy that I'm getting is, are you, like it said, are you like waiting for someone to rescue? Are you in that like damsel in distress mode? And men can be that way too. Like thinking like they can't get their life together unless someone comes in and makes them happy and things like that. Be cautious of that because, you know, falling down a rabbit hole, like it was saying, is, you know, it, it can be, you know, a risk and curiosity and things like that. But you have to be cautious. There's like a thin line because you can't rely on someone else to make you happy i just kind of had an example a little bit of that energy it wasn't completely that with my son so be very cautious because you can slip into a darkness really quick because any everybody has free will so they can come along and say ah oh, nah i don't want to do this and then you're just shattered so be very cautious about that you have to be happy within yourself i'm not saying don't have relationships 
and you know count on people and friendships and things like that but you can't have that make or break attitude with people all right so let's see what else is coming up for you gemini okay let's see with the moonology card okay spirit what do you want to bring out with this maiden with the moonology cards so now we have your dreams need a practical plan full moon and taurus so something that you need to really focus on and get a plan together that's that's realistic you know if you're just like it said waiting for your prince to come along or your princess to come along your whole life is going to be you know the best you need to get a plan together where you need to take charge as well as your happiness in your life okay um yeah you can have that come in but you might not attract the right kind of people that with that attitude okay so let's go ahead and see what else is coming out and now we have far away places get ready for new horizons so with this you might be taking a vacation or trip you might be going on a business trip you might be moving um so however that is it's just saying get ready because something's going to come up where you're going to be traveling or something also um it doesn't for some of you it doesn't have to be actual physically traveling it could just be on the astral plane um imagination and things like that so let's go ahead and see what else is coming up for you gemini now we have mount shasta this has come up so much this is like you know how see how all these lines are connected up in the earth and the stars and then it's grounded down in the energy of the earth this is kind of like kind this is like kind of climbing those mountains but stay grounded as well but you know being like in the 3d and the 5d have that balanced out as well um all that energy is connected but you have to have a balance between the two all right all right let's see what else is coming up and now we have maple spirit generosity so also i'm getting with this card here with the maiden waiting for someone to come along and save you like that damsel in distress thinking that all your energy has to be put into someone else to make you happy things like that you also have to put out a little too it can't just be someone else doing all the work to make you happy right so, you know, come from that generosity, generous space and things like that as well. So let's see what else is coming up. You might be uh, being a little more self-absorbed lately or something. Now we have the Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. So you are having people try in the subtle realms or the realms of uh, 5D trying to help you out here. You know, they don't want you to get lost in that energy of waiting for someone else to make you happy or your life... Um, um, better or things like that so they are trying to guide you in the right direction all right now we're going to see what energy is coming up what do you need to surrender here what do you need to surrender gemini what do you need to surrender surrender low self-esteem you deserve success love and abundance set an intention to identify and release any rem remnants of low self self-esteem all right so immediately i get here with this maiden energy See, what it does, too, is if you're waiting for someone to come along and rescue you, to make you happy, and then it doesn't work out, then you're going to plummet because then you're going to take it personally. Like, it must be me. I, I must not be doing something right. People don't like me. I must not be, I'm, I must be unlovable or unlikable. So you really got to get out of that energy. That's why you got to find happiness within yourself. All right, now we're going to see what goddess is coming up to help you, to assist you at this time, Gemini. All right, which one, Spirit? Oh, this one? Okay. So now we have Bridget. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Yeah. So also I'm getting here too that, you know, like this is a general read, so it's not for every Gemini out there. Um, what this is saying as well is with this maiden energy and this just a low self-esteem, you are just wanting like a relationship and someone to make you happy so much or you think that's successful or you want, you know, you feel like your worth is set in like if you have a relationship or something like that. Um, so you might even lower your standards or not set healthy boundaries and put up with, you know, all the red flags you're seeing or being treated, mistreated or cheated on or things like that just to be in that because you're slow, you're lowering your self-esteem and your vibration. You have to stand up. Like, if you know you don't deserve that, you cannot put up with that. You know, it's okay to be alone. That's why you need to find this happiness within yourself. 
and know your worth. All right, so let's get a couple tarot cards on this. Okay, so now we have the Ten of Wands. See, it's a burden now. It's definitely a burden. That's just like wearing you down. It's time to start a new cycle. You have to start a new type of behavior, start a new cycle where you raise your vibration, know your worth, and connect with people that are uh, more supporting of you, that is very that respect you, that's more aligned with you. Yeah, because look here. Yeah, it's all anxiety and worry. That's all it's doing to you. You know, you're sitting around thinking like you're never going to be happy. Somebody's got to come in and save you. You got to get out of that, okay? So now we're going to get another round. Let me just move these over. All right, let's see what else is coming up for you, Gemini. Oops. What else is coming up for Gemini, please? Spirit. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, this August 11th. And the week or two after, the energies, like, last longer. So from the... From the uh, portal and the um, new moon it lasts like a few weeks oh my gosh now we have the mother so look at this see then you're raising up into this mother remember it said the maiden it's just a hard time to get from the maiden to the mother wow that's interesting so it looks like you might be doing this work you're realizing that this portal and this new moon in um leo which is leo is usually a pretty confident sign is helping you to get to that level so let's go ahead and see what this mother is this is number one the mother I can find it. Okay, so the mother here is the great mother, the feminine, the source. We begin our archetypal story with the mother's love. Through her sensual, fertile, and life-giving energy, all creation takes form. Regardless of our birth story, each of our hearts beat for the first time in the warm, warm, warm womb of our mother, where she offered resources from her body for the building of her own. Yet her tale is not so simple. As the mother, especially of the earthly plane, contains both light and dark aspects of the feminine. With the best of intentions, the mother wraps her loving arms around the creation and begins to grip with what's meant to set free. Um, the mother both nurtures and prohibits growth. She gives yet clings. She creates yet restricts. Amid this complex energy, the mother holds the key to the eternal challenge of love. The mother is part of the trifecta maiden, mother, and crone. Because of the relationship between them, take special note when these cards appear in one reading. Yeah, see, look, you got both of them. You didn't get the crone, of course, but... Notice how the mother archetype is expressed in nature. This is perhaps the most balanced and benevolent form of the mother's grace. When light, it's glowing, gener generative, creative, and nurturing. When dark, dim, exhausted, controlling, and limiting. Go deeper. Read Tai Tao Te Ching, Chapter 1, and imagine the mother of 10,000 things. So, it looks like you are leveling up here. Just be careful that you're not, um, you know, overprotective like those mothers can be. Of course, it's out of, you know, love, but it still is, is toxic. It can be toxic to be over-controlling, you know. They just want to protect, right? But um, they also experience darkness, too. So, while you're shifting here, um, just be aware that there can be a dark side as well. Like, with everything, right? Okay. I'm also, too, like, mothering your inner child as well because that might be where that self, low self-esteem and thinking people are going to need, you can't be happy on your own and other people are going to um, make you happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else is coming up. And it's very interesting. There's a pearl here. So that's like, um, you're, you know, you do have that treasure within you. All right, let's see what else with the Moonology cards. Yeah, oh, my God. You are good enough. Yes, Gemini. And look, it's the full moon in Virgo. And Virgo got that maiden as well. So, another um, sign ruled by Mercury. You're good enough. It's in your, he it's in your head. Mercury is, a, is um, all about your thoughts and things like that. So, you have to get out of that way of thinking. And it could have been from like an overprotecting mother. Or maybe one that wasn't nurturing as much. I don't know your situation, but you have to really examine that. All right, so let's get another card here. And now we have taking shelter. The answers are within. Yep, what I just say? That they're within, yes. And now taking shelter 
I'm also getting to like with that mother energy where mothers can be really protective or sometimes overprotective and not want their kids to have experiences or leave or things like that because you know they know what how the world is and two they don't want to lose them so um, I'm also getting too that you might be you know overprotective of your own self like your own feelings in your heart from heartbreak before so you know but you have to be careful careful there's like you have to open up that heart a little bit but you also have to go within to find those answers of why you feel that low self-esteem why you think other people are gonna make you happy and you can't find your own happiness things like that okay so let's get another card here so beyond Lemuria which one? Oh, it's this one okay all right, so now we have, oh, look, yep, vulnerability, yeah. Because when you've been vulnerable in the, in the past, you've been hurt. Your heart's broken. It's hard. It's hard when your heart gets broken. Also, like, traumas through the years and different things like that. So, yeah. All right, let's see what else is coming up. Sometimes the cards, certain cards just, like, scream out to me. Look at that reflecting pool. Yeah, you really got to contemplate and go within and yeah, take some time to quiet to figure this out, Gemini. Okay. Um, if things haven't been working out before because you start getting controlling or clinging to someone um, and you're just expecting them to make you completely happy and it doesn't work out and then you're crushed again, you really got to examine if you're repeating that pattern over and over. All right. And now we have share your voice. Come out of the cave, persecution and expression. So share your voice, communicate clearly, speak your truth. Don't go along with others just so you will have someone in your life. Um, don't go along with others because you want to be happy and you think like if you do go along with them, they'll be happy and it'll be a ripple effect and you're happy. Be careful with that, okay? You have to live your truth. You can't stay with people just to settle. Um, to just not be alone all right so now we're going to get a what you need to surrender surrender denial yeah so accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties so then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions well that's perfect for you gemini right the gemini's that this message is for all right so now we're going to get a uh, goddess that's with you now we have Cordelia, go outside. You've been indoors too long, go outside and get some fresh air. So you might need to go out and get some grounding. Um, also, it just lightens your mood. As well as if you've been hurt and you've kind of like been sheltering yourself and don't want to get back out there, it might be time to get back out there, but you need, do need to release that or heal whatever that energy is first, okay? All right, so now we are going to get a few tarot cards and then we're gonna get two more cards and this is gonna be the end of this reading. All right, what else, Spirit, please, for Gemini? All right, so now we have the Five of uh, Swords. So, yeah, see? Yeah, this is tough energy. This is challenging energy. So this is a challenge for you as well as when you start putting a lot of stuff on people and trying to control the situation so they make you happy. Um, that's a challenging situation, and it challenges the others. And then in return, it backfires on you and challenges you. So it's a pattern that needs to be broken here, okay? All right. Oh, I was going to get a couple more tarot cards. And now we have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah. So really listen to those intuitive messages. You might be getting a message in your physical world as well. Um, you know, maybe somebody's reaching out to you. But I'm really getting that you really need to um, listen, pay attention to your um, gut feelings. What it's telling you to do in your material world. Okay. And one more. And then the king of wands. Yeah, see, he knows what he wants. He's confident. So you got to figure out what you truly want and don't settle for anything less than that. All right, Gemini. So now let's get a couple of these soul journey cards. Okay, so now we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Yeah. Um, if you're blaming yourself or blaming other people, um, it's time to stop the blame game and to fix it, to heal it, okay? That's not getting you anywhere. It's just going to make you more bitter in things. Friendship. I understand that a friend in my life is for a reason. So what Spirit's telling you here is if you've had broken relationships or things like that, 
instead of putting it back on you and your self-esteem that you're not good enough taking it personal just take it as a lesson things we have good and bad in our life to teach us lessons okay to make us see what our self-worth is okay so now we're just going to get a, a let it go card and then we're going to say i do all right that's the last message here for gemini please last message for gemini so now we have let go of fear through meditation. Purify yourself so that you're a magnet for your true heart's desires. What a perfect ending message. Yes, that's what you got to do. You got to go for what you really want. But you got to let go of those fears and that low self-esteem, um, taking things personally, rejection, things like that. Okay, so that is your message, Gemini. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful August. Take care. Bye.